Welcome back to Kim's Art Alchemy. And look what I have. I've got Julie Cutts Dragon Coaster. And just look how detailed this thing is. It is amazing. I cannot wait to play with it. I just got this. Well, <laughs> who knows when you're gonna see this, but I did just get this order and I'm so excited. In addition to this, I'm also gonna use some new products that I was gifted by the lovely Michelle of Royal River Art. She's a really good friend. And when I hit 1K, she sent me these to celebrate and she knew I had ordered this mold. And um, so I am going to use these powders. So in this box, there are five pigments that come in it, copper, rustic gold, antique gold, not sure what the difference is because basically say the same thing, bronze, and I'm gonna use the silver in the backbone. But for the eyes, you see the eyes right here? I'm gonna use a bit of TLP, King of Pain, along with maraschino to make the eyes kind of fiery. So it's gonna take me a while to dust the dragon. And once I get that done, I'll be back to you. Back in a flash. We're back and I've mixed up four ounces of resin and immediately I'm pouring a little bit of that resin into the backbone of the of the dragon and now I'm just gonna spend this time trying to scrape out those clingy little bubbles from all those nooks and crannies and believe me there's a lot of them. While I'm waiting for the resin to get up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit I've brought out three cups and I'm gonna be using um, alcohol ink Artfinity and Pompous by TLP um, the Artfinity is poppy red. I'm also using Julie's Bloom Paste for my white. And in my hand, my right hand there is some resin dye by Let's Resin that is black. The thought was that I it would help to darken things. Now watch this right here because it is foreshadowing. Eek! Why is that orange? Now that I've got everything out, it is time to check the temperature of my resin, and it does hit 95 degrees. It is time to decant, and I put about 20 grams uh, in each of the three cups, and the rest is gonna go into the mold. Now it's time to mix up the bloom paste, the pigments, and the alcohol ink, or pigment. And you'll see that I put that poppy red in there and it looked kind of orange. And then I thought, well, I'll put a drop of the black in there and it turned into this terrible puke, poop, green color. It was disgusting. I thought, yeah, I'm not doing that. So I grabbed another cup and a different color red and tried to make it better. We will see at the end how not successful that was, <laughs> but wait and see. Now the fun part begins. And I get to just pour these in and I'm going to do it in a spiral and you are trying to float this on the resin. So I'm just doing a bunch of spirals with all the different colors.
just putting the finishing touches on my flower. And you will see in the next picture that this does bloom quite nicely. We're back and this is cured. I obviously put a black backing on it and I cannot wait to see how this turned out. Now I do want to be careful to make sure that I don't leave a horn <laughs> in the mold. I think I did okay. Well, a few little bubbles, I think. Anyway, let's see. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, -ho. wow. All right, so you can't really see. Well, maybe you can. Yeah, in certain lights, you can see the pompous. My red, interestingly enough, went really orange. And with that black background, you get that puke green color. But in through here, it looks pretty good, except for where there were a few spaces. So that's very interesting. Also, the surface of my mold has some kind of ripple on it. I don't know what that's from, but it's a little weird. Of course, it'd be easy to fix. Just put a thin layer of resin over the top of that and you'd be fine. All in all, I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to look at the eyes. So the nose, <laughs> I did black and then I did the eyes, black too with the flames on it. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of funny. Otherwise, this came out pretty good. There are a couple areas where I didn't get the resin quite, or the, the pigment paste quite in all the nooks and crannies, but really, blind man and a galloping horse. And I could just go over it with a silver pen and it would be fine. So I will show you this in the sun. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs>